Today on our 2015 Kia Sportage, we will be testing the Yakima roof rack system using part numbers Y00409 for the 58 inch crossbars, as you can see here, and part number Y00699 for the Q99 cube clips and pads for the front, as you can see here, and part number Y00683 for the Q83 cube clips for the rear and pads, which we already have installed, and part number Y00124 for the Q tower which is right here. So for right now, I'm gonna go, go ahead and show you how to install the Q tower. So what you wanna do is you wanna take your pad, place it on bottom. And make sure that fits nicely there. And take your Q clip, run it till it clips in just like that. And take this part. You'll notice how there's a notch there. You'll want to run it up through the center where it is notched, like so. And this is meant to keep it in place. You want to clip that in just like that. All right, so what we've done here is we've installed the pad on the bottom, put the clip in, and then locked it in place. And with that being done, I'll go ahead and show you how to put that on our crossbar. All right, so what you want to do is you want to make sure this comes out, comes out like that. That's going to allow us to tighten it to our bar with our Allen key. So we'll slide it on the bar. Like so. All right, and according to Yakum's fit guide, they need to be 45 and 3 quarters apart between each tower. So you want to make sure that gets lined up appropriately. And that looks about right. So we'll go ahead and tighten that down using our included Allen key. All right, with that being tight, we can go ahead and, and load that onto the car. Now you want to make sure both doors are open. And you want to place it right around this area. And also, to start out with, we're going to need to make sure that this is 7 and 3 eighths from the Q tower, from the pad here to our windshield. So I like to use this line for guidance here. So we'll make sure to start off with, this is lined up with our Q tower. And we'll come down and we'll look for 7 and 3 eighths. So we need to move this down a little ways. And just a little bit more. And that looks about right. I'll run over to the other side and make sure that's lined up. And we almost got it. All right, that looks about right. So I'll show you on the other side. Once we have that in position, you'll notice that this is going to help tighten it down, but we have our little thumb screw here to fine tune for a nice tight fit. And both sides have it, so we can get that about where we think it's right, tighten it down, and then run over to the other side and do the same thing. And that's going to help pull it together so it'll tighten it up. Tighten that down. All right. And with that being done, with our rear already installed, according to Yakim's fit guide, these need to be 32 inches apart and no more, no less. So as you can see, 
as you can see there, center to center, 32 inches. So we'll take our end caps, put those in place. And then we've got it. That's going to complete our test fit today of the Yakima Roof Rack system on the 2015 Kia Sportage.